Hey there everyone, welcome back. We got the top eight videos right here. So, uh, this is round seven, the uh, quarterfinals, and this is one hell of a rematch against Trim Facts. Um, so, let's get right into it. Um, I look at this hand. And I know what they're playing. They have main deck hate. They just have everything. No, this hand is awful. It's almost, even though you have creatures, looking at this hand, especially against Stompy, is almost like you're staring at a seven lander. It's just awful. And you don't keep it. This hand, though, looks way, way better. Reason being, you know, you have two lands, so even if they, you know, pop off the Mystic, you can still go Priest of Titania, you have Longbow, um, and there was something worth keeping on the top, but went a little too quick there, so I couldn't quite catch it. Um, but they just go in, they go Young, oh, what was that another Mana Dork look like? And you just let, you know, a Young Wolf with one damage, yeah, you let that through. You get Longbow going on. And just kill the ranger. And then you just move the longbow around. Even though you're not using it right now, at least you have it moved on to something else for the next turn, I guess. You know, maybe arguably a mediocre play, but eh. And basically this is what I'm just doing, is I'm, I'm just trying to longbow away some of their dudes to the best of my ability. But unfortunately I can only kill so much. So it's just a matter of just trying to do the best I can to deal with it. And I'm just killing their dudes. And this point is really good too, because now I can go longbow, I have enough mana, I can put it on that last one. And now when they try and go um, put Rancor on something, then I can just, you know, longbow whatever they put it on. And they, of course they put it on the one with the two toughness, so I don't kill it that turn. But I, at this point, I believe I, I'm going to kill Young Wolf there. Just so I can deal that damage, now I can actually just pop it off and just deal with it now. But this allows me to get the blue mana, so I can just go Distant Melody and start firing off the chain. Get all the deeds down. I, I made a bit of a mistake here, like, I think in that I probably shouldn't have um, you know activated Priest of Titania there right away but at the same time I generated just enough heat here that I was just able to just kind of take off and deal with it so not really that much skin off my bones Just blocking with some extra stuff, just in case they had any like, pump spells or what have you. And now I just have straight lethal, just because they don't have any... Because um, all I have in their hand is Rancors. And that puts me up the game one. Now, uh, the sideboard, same kind of deal as last time. Now, take off a distant melody, take off a hunt master. I think I left may have left those in last time. I don't totally remember what I took out, brought in last time. Um, and a Sylvan Ranger. And basically I brought in a spider silk armor this time, just one, 
because I know they're running Vault Scourges and they used them to great effect to kill me the last time um, in one of our matches. So I figured a one of could just help me deal with those a little bit. And then obviously I brought in the Luminescent Reigns. So I saw this opener and it looked great. I mean, you start out, you find Horn Elves into um, Kieran Ranger, Elvish Vanguard. Um, and you just take it from there. And this is good too if they have like an epic confrontation or something, then it's easily dealt with. And it's arguable that here I may have gotten a little greedy. But what I'm trying to do here is if they have the lethal, then I can cast Luminescent Rain and have an out. You know, in hindsight, I'm looking at I'm looking at how I'm playing this, and I almost wonder why I'm not attacking, because I do have the Kieran Ranger. Um, I, I think I just didn't want to pump up the Young Wolf and let them get in for even more damage. But in hindsight, it probably would have been the better move. I was also letting the damage come through because I didn't want to do a trade-off where I know they're just going to uh, get the Rancors back anyway. But it didn't matter in the end because they just had so many cards in their hand they basically just had the pump spell anyway and just took me out before I could really get there. I didn't really have much life gain short of the Luminescent Rain when I needed it. And I mean I don't think I would have even drawn anything. I can't really even look I don't think at this point. Um, so that ends up taking us into game three if I can hit the right button and we just open really strong forest and Lamor elves into Kieran Ranger uh, Elvish Vanguard Birch Lord Rangers with more Vanguard action so this hand is just like actually like straight up nuts because then you can, once you actually like spit out your whole board, then you just go Distant Melody and you're home free. Ha seeing the second Distant Melody just is like gravy, basically. And that's basically where it's just leading into. If they can't kill the... Well, Wisher. Okay, so they kill it. And so we just go distant melody. Not going too deep right now, but just trying to get the stuff on the board. We're casting Huntmaster and Lanor Elves. And this is where we just go off with the second distant melody. Obviously, I didn't want to get too greedy with the Timberwatch Elf because I wanted to be able to drop all my stuff down first. And unfortunately, you know, even though I, I'm hitting the longbows here, um, my Nello Sentinel is um, it doesn't have that wonderful. Um, ability to just tap, like, repeatedly right now because it's, um, summoning sick, which is unfortunate. But, 
Um, thankfully here I can just go that. In hindsight, again, I probably should have cast the longbow first and put it on the Nettle Sentinel so I could have gotten in for some extra damage. But having longbow here with Kieran Ranger and Priest of Titania in such a wide board is just going to completely wipe out this game and totally uh, lock it down. What's more, they're at a about like three and a half minutes on their clock. So it's really just kind of like ends the game on the spot. Pretty much without hesitation. And that's when they um, extend the hand and that's the game. So um, that was actually really, really tight. Like, um, because of how close they were getting me um, in like every game, it just felt like really strenuous, really white knuckle. Like, I mean, this is what I said about the first time I played them. It was very tough. It was very tight. And they are a um, a fantastic player. They're just really good at their deck, and it really shows. Um, so this was the quarterfinals, taking us right into the semifinals. And hope you guys uh, enjoy this, and check out the next ones.